Welcome to another video. Today we're finishing up that solid manure. I still have maybe 10 loads or so to go, a few hours of hauling, but then we'll be done and we'll be switching over to liquid manure. I just saw the guy from Lamar Farms pull up to the yard in his truck. He had the pump behind him and he was pulling that into the yard. So I imagine pretty soon here, he's gonna get that lagoon crawler in the pit, stirring the shit up. So we're gonna go and check that out. We gotta take some gates away from that lagoon. We had a steer go in there uh, this summer at some time. So we put some gates up there, finish the fencing off completely. So that couldn't happen again, but now we gotta take it out of the way before anyone gets in that lagoon. So we're gonna go do that probably right away here. And then we'll finish hauling solid, switch it over to liquid. Dad is gonna haul tonight and I'll haul during the day. So he wanted to do the night shift. He, uh, I guess he likes that more than I do. So uh, lucky me, I don't gotta do that. It's kind of hard to film a video in the pitch black anyways. So you guys will be able to come along now. So this is the crawler, he's just up on the ramp right now, he's gonna drive into the pit. I don't know if you guys can tell on video, but this thing is actually massive in person. So he's got the lagoon agitator floating around there, stirring it up with our pit, with the sand bedding, the sand manure being in there. It does take maybe 12 hours of stirring before you should start pumping it out, which is quite a long time. And that is because the sand is so heavy and it's so clearly separated from the liquid. So it does take a while to agitate, but once it is, you can pump everything out of that pit. Whereas if we didn't agitate it with that boat, there'd be four to five feet of solid material at the bottom of the lagoon and that's really what kills you and that's the whole reason why we get that lagoon out here to stir it up so we'll uh finish hauling the solid manure but right now it's lunch time got some burgers coming from the bar so first lunch time and then we'll finish what's left of this pile here so we're going to start switching over to liquid by grabbing the bueller versatile off of our highline bale wagon and putting it in front of the liquid manure pump I'm going to do this before I switch over the tractor because if this goes really smooth and it doesn't take a lot of time, I'm actually going to continue to haul solid for a little bit longer. But uh, we got to grab the jack, lift this thing up, and then we'll be able to drive away from the bail wagon. Just fueling up the versatile before we hook it up to the pump, which is at the pit right now. As soon as we do that though, we're going to pull it back to the shop because the guy running that custom crew, he asked if we could take the propeller off of our pump because that propeller stirs the pit up a lot very aggressively and it's a bit of a struggle for that noon lagoon crawler i remember two years ago uh, it actually got caught by the current and pulled in towards the pump and that lagoon crawler hit our pump luckily the pit was still full enough that the crawler didn't actually hit the propeller and it kind of just hit the piping and stuff but uh that wasn't too bad but now we figure uh just take the prop off and it won't be an issue at all that crawler is going to do all the agitating anyway there's no real need for that propeller to be on our pump so fuel this thing up hook it up to the pump take it to the shop take the propeller off pumps ready to go in the pit 
Uh, we tried taking the propeller off, but unfortunately that thing is on there a lot tighter than we had initially thought. So it's not coming off, but we do have the option to angle that propeller and we're gonna try and angle it towards the wall and then maybe it won't stir up that pit as bad as it has in the last couple of years. Uh, we're gonna go drop this thing in the pit. Got our pump in the pit and the fill spout is hooked up to it. I might have to move that over a little bit. The hose is kind of twisted. That's not gonna do so well over 200 loads. But uh, for now, we'll go get that MX-285 hooked up to the tank. The new equipment parking lot. We got that guy pulled out of the shed because we're gonna be planting that fall rye pretty soon. We'll leave the budding nurse spreader right there or we're taking that guy along. So you can see right there, we got the tank behind us. We're gonna pull it over the scale, see how much it weighs empty. And then once we do that first test load, once it's right full, We'll weigh it again. I'm pretty curious. We did the solid manure spreader in the last video. Today we're doing the liquid manure spreader. So we weighed that tank empty and it is only 4,000 kgs heavier than the Bunning manure spreader. This came out at 24,290 kgs. I figured this thing would be way heavier. It's got four axles instead of just two on the Bunning. It's way longer. I'm surprised that that uh, Bunning manure spreader is a heavy piece of equipment. The last thing I'm doing before we actually put manure in here is making sure that all the axles are steering properly. And that the hydraulics are sensitive enough to be steering this thing around. And it looks like they are. good to me. The only way to find out for sure is to get that thing fully loaded and then if they're not set properly it'll push you around very aggressively in the tractor and then you know right away if they're not good. Pretty much all ready to go. Tanks ready to go. Pumps ready to go except for one last detail. This pipe is twisted. When I hooked it up this spring it was more up the hill and since then it's rolled which has put a bit of a twist in the pipe here which is really unfortunate because we're gonna have to unhook it at the bottom now. But that pipe, of course, is still filled with a bit of liquid from the last time I was pumping. So we're gonna make a bit of a mess here, but there's not really anything I can do about it. Um, even if I pulled it over sideways with the wheel loader, I don't think that was gonna do much. I just need to adjust how it's hooked up this way. Spin the hose a little bit there. It sucks, we're gonna get messy, but uh, let's get it done. Well, we'll be able to live with that little spill. At least that hose is straight. Well, that's the first tank fully loaded. We're gonna go pull it over the scale and see exactly how much this thing weighs. The tank is loaded real quick before we pull it over the scale. Dad noticed a couple of these auto greasing lines are getting a little bit close to the inside rim. They're rubbing and they could be wearing through. So uh, we gotta re-zip tie those up. Well, that's looking a lot better. Those lines are off the inside of the rim. You can see this line is 
pretty worn to the steel wires, so probably gonna be replaced pretty soon. But uh, good thing Dad saw that. Looks like all the other lines underneath this thing are looking good. If you guys just take a look down there, it is one complicated suspension system on this Gia tank. Well, that sucks. When I was standing on there, it said 60. <laughs> there we go, folks. So this thing fully loaded is 60 tons. That's a uh, pretty heavy bugger. Okay, so empty the tractor and tank weighed 24,290 kgs. Full, we're weighing in just at 60,000 kgs. And that puts the total weight of our load at 35,740 kilos. So uh, 35,000 liters of manure is in this tank. I guess uh, sand manure is supposed to be quite a bit heavier. I was talking to the guy that's running the custom operation there and he said sand manure is quite a bit, maybe even 15% heavier than straw pack manure or bedding barns that are, are with uh, sawdust or straw. You know, it's a lot heavier because sand is more dense. So. Uh, maybe that has to do with it. Maybe it's not quite 35,000 liters, who knows? But uh, 60,000 kgs, that's, that's a bit of weight rolling down the road. Well, we're getting really close to unloading. We're in the furthest corner of the field, as far away from the farm as we possibly can get. And uh, I think I miscalculated how long this is gonna take. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer, unfortunately, which is, uh, gonna be pricey but oh well it's good to know we are looking for these flags which dad put down to mark out the field as this is our newest piece of land so I do want to paint right up to that flag and then head straight Let's see if we can do that Well, that's a good bit of this field painted. We're only about a meter off of those stakes, so uh, we'll take that. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine, which is excellent. And this manure is gonna do so much for this sandy soil. went and started hauling liquid manure. He's out in the field right now, hauling, going back and forth between the farm and the field. Uh, those round trips are gonna take a little bit longer than we initially expected, which is unfortunate. Is what it is though. Uh, we'll get it done at the end of the day, but uh, that is gonna be it for today's video. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take over from Dad for hauling liquid manure bright and early in the morning, 6 a.m. And I believe I'm gonna go till eight or something at night. So it's gonna be a long day of hauling liquid, but it should be fun. There's gonna be three other tractors and tanks going along beside us, so we'll make quick work of that pit anyway. I hope to see you guys in that video. Thanks for watching.